Alright guys, just doing a follow up here on the 63 Cub. Uh, if you watched the last video, you've seen the whole mess I had on my hands with the wiring. I've got it all back together, all hooked up. Kind of getting ready to fire it up here, but it's going over it one final time. So I wanted to make a video here for the journal. Okay, everything is inside and uh, connected and labeled. Every single wire has a label on it. Okay, so for future reference, it'll be a lot easier. You get two looms. You see two looms here. The one wire that is not in the loom is the wire that's going to the starter motor, which is the battery connection. Okay, for everything. Okay, so because if I have a problems with anything, that's the wire I'm going to have to disconnect quickly. So I decided to keep that outside the loom. Also, uh, if I ever have to change my starter motor, I don't have to go digging through the loom for the right wire. Okay, so these two looms are coming this way. One is going to the uh, for the electrical, okay, to the the lead or the load to the battery, and the other one breaks off here and goes to the coil. Okay, you got everything marked. Okay, negative, positive on the coil and LBF on the voltage regulator, FA on the on the generator. Everything is clearly marked, so there's no second guessing for whoever else might come in here after me. All right, um, so this was a real pain in the neck to sort this all through. I ripped every entire wire out and replaced it. Okay, these two wires here you see are for the headlights, okay? Negative and positive, okay? Each headlight has two wires going to it, okay? And um, rather than put one shared ground i put two separate grounds okay one for this side and this one here is going over to the other side okay along with the positive so two terminals right there to plug in and out here's your lights right here okay you can see the two terminals on it okay these are the male terminals female terminals are on the uh, wires coming out of the loom okay same over here actually these two wires here the only two wires i kept these two wires here were clean and they were good Every other single wire was replaced, so that's ready to go go on and get plugged in. It's all measured out so it'll fit. Okay, so uh, pretty happy with the way this came out. It's a lot uh, neater and organized than certainly it ever was before. So everything is good on this. Um, the battery, I took a uh, big plastic battery box, a 12 volt battery, cut it in half, and spliced it together to make one battery the right size for the six volt battery and I had to do that because this is the original battery box right here you're looking at okay as you can see there ain't much to it okay it really surprised me that they they use the uh, the battery box as the ground connector I, mean, I certainly would not trust the battery box that thin metal as the ground connector for a six volt system but Apparently that's what was done, and um, at least done in this case anyway, and I guess it worked. But uh, as you can see, total wrap box. So I put the new box in there, she's all hooked up. Every single thing is hooked up except the final connector uh, to the ground. Everything else is hooked up, I'm just going over everything carefully to make sure everything's perfect before I fire her up. It's a real light, which before was mounted to that battery box. Okay, I mounted to the seat frame. Okay, the junction box is up there for the light. Okay, so uh, yeah, the real light was mounted here to this little bracket here on the battery box before. So that's the story. She's all wired up. She's ready to go, hopefully. Everything will be cool here when I fire this up. And um, I'm going to use a test light to test the, uh, the lights. Uh, I'm not going to put the hood on. And when I fire it up and test it, I tested the bulbs individually and they do work. I hot wired them and they work. So I'm not worried about them working when I get it on, but I don't want to put the hood back on, bolt it all up, and have to pull, take it back off. So that's the story. All right, guys, like I said, just make an entry here for the journal. Took a lot of before and half pictures of this mess. If you haven't seen my previous video on this wiring system, you might want to take a look. Um, pretty pleased with how it came out. So. Anyways, that's the update on the 63 Formal Cub and the wiring, uh, totally rewiring system. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Book them down.